Dystonia is very painful. It's my, my foot will always turns to the, it turns to the inside. Toes go all sorts of ways that you never thought they could do. And um, it hurts, very painful. And it was the first time it happened. So I said, well, another surprise Parkinson's has for me. So I sat down on the curb and sat there for a second. My, my wife said, what are you going to get up? I said, I can't get up. So she reached it down, got, took my baseball hat off my head, and turned it upside down, and handed it to me, and said, well, make some money while you're down there. <laughs> That's a true story. That's awesome. I used to play poker every Friday night, once a month, with a bunch of guys, and I was terrible at it. I, was, I would lose every week. They loved to see me coming. Well, I developed Parkinson's, and I, would, I stopped taking my meds for a couple days before and no one knew when I got that fourth queen because my face never changed. <laughs> they actually banned me from the game because they said, they said it wasn't fair. <laughs> Uncover your purpose. Uncover your purpose. Your purpose doesn't have to be something grandiose. It doesn't have to be something huge. It's just your purpose. And maybe it has something to do with Parkinson's. Embrace Parkinson's. Maybe it doesn't. But we're all here for a reason. We make a difference. I'm going to tell you a story about a friend of mine that passed away at 50 years old, prematurely. He called me the night before he died. He said, he was in hospice. And he said, John, have I made a difference? And this, this, this friend of mine from college never really had um, a, what we call a successful life. He lost his job, couldn't get another job. His wife divorced him. He was, he was living with his parents at the time. And I said to him, yeah, you made a difference in my life. He said, how? I said, let me tell you a story. When I was a freshman in college, I went from being a big man on campus in high school to a lowly freshman in college. And I went to, a, I was from New York, but I went to the University of Massachusetts. So a lot of the high school kids, from their high schools, they, they stuck together. And, um, I felt like an outsider. So I moved dorms the sophomore year and it felt the same way, I got the same vibes. And I called my mom and I said, Mom, come pick me up, I'm done with college, I don't wanna do this. And she said, give it 24 hours. And not five minutes later, I walked out of my head. He made a difference. When I told that story I was at a celebration of life, I saw his father puff out his chest. So proud. That was, a, that was a gift. <coughs> so, uh, teach school. This is, a, this is a life marathon. Prepare yourself for it. Get healthy. Let me, let me read you Leo Biscalia saying, because I think it sums up a lot of what I'm talking about. Too often we underestimate the power of a touch, a smile, a kind word, a listening ear, an honest compliment, or the smallest act of caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. Be that touch, be that word, be that listening ear, be that compliment, be that act of caring. Let me tell you, um, I was in San Antonio about a year ago, and I um, gave a talk, and I stayed for the rest of the session. I'm gonna stay, the content is so good at this symposium, I'm gonna stay for the rest of the sessions. Um, and I always talk to anyone who wants to talk to me, and there was a line of a few people, and I also sell an autograph in some of my books. But um, this, the last one in line was this guy, and I said to him, I do have Parkinson's, he said, no, my wife does but she couldn't make it. I said, what, what, what's wrong? I said, well, she's in a wheelchair and she just didn't feel up to it. But she's seen several of your YouTubes and she was really looking forward to this and really excited about it. It's the first time I've seen her excited in a long time and I'm sorry that she didn't make it. And I said to him, do you live near the airport? He said, yeah. I said, do you think my flight's in three hours, maybe you can get me to your house in the airport? He said, yeah. So I got in his car, we didn't call him, got there, I met her, it was, it was really fun, 
We met, we talked. We found out she was a school teacher. He went into the kitchen and she said, I'm thinking about taking my life. And I said to her, who's the pictures of the kids on the wall? She said, those are my grandchildren. I said, do you think you've taught them everything you need to teach them, Miss Teacher? She said, no. I said, then you have a reason for living. Hopefully I made a difference that day. But that's, this, that's, that's making a difference. Experience the power of positive. Believe in yourself and your team. Do what you can. Embrace Parkinson's. Defy your disease. Defy it. Challenge it. Did I finish in time? You can still talk. Okay. I'll tell some more stories. Masters is going on the 